Uh, Tony, look, you know probably better than most about the speaker and his role, having having yeah. uh, uh, bid for the job yourself. Uh, so do you think the speaker was out of hand? Do you think Trev should have been flicked? Yeah, of course he, he deserved it. If you watch carefully the lead up to him being uh, booted from the house, he's actually packing his bags even before <laughs> yeah, it's he's true. Well, kicked out. So he knew, well, no, no, so well, Trevor knows ab 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 more than anybody truth, that absolute there truth. are rules that you have to follow and yep. we do and we know when we are going to get booted. So, you know, Trevor? No, no, I, I agree I agree with Toe there. I knew at the end that I was going to go, but I also knew I wasn't going to apologise for telling the truth. And that's it's a pretty important thing for me. I don't, when something is true, I don't withdraw from it. Your, um, from your perspective, it's true. I mean, but at the, well, end, of well the, day, at the end of the day, the rules say if the speaker asks you to, to withdraw, if you don't, you're out of there. Trevor, I, I, and, and you, and I you know knew that, that and you that's left, true. Yeah, you left with that that's slight, right. that's a that slight wry yep. smile on your face. Look, it is all very entertaining for people, for us who are watching, and probably for you guys who are in the house, but is it time to let this go and get on with policy debate, Trev? Well, I, I, I think you've got to work out what is driving the policy debate, and what has become increasingly clear is that the policy debate is being driven and special access is being given to people who can afford it. The Cabinet Club <laughs> is the very clear example of that. You pay, if you're apparently if you're in Invercargill, you pay $1,000. Uh, if you're in Auckland, you pay $2,000. If you're Chinese, you pay $5,000 ah, for access rubbish. to... See, I mean, well, this is, this is, this is for all access to the Cabinet from the Labour Party's to the envy about how people raise funds. And quite frankly, what this says is the National Party is a hell of a lot better at fundraising than these guys are. And that's where it comes from. This is a whole well, strategy. On Tuesday, they had the opportunity to come in with the smoking gun, with everything laid out for them. And what happened? The focus went on Trevor because Trevor's up to his old tricks again. Uh, look, uh, Trevor, there's a point here Toe's making. I mean, Toe, I want to ask you this. Could this now, having had the best period Labour's had in goodness knows how long, in months if not years, could this now start to hurt the opposition, this, these continual attacks without any real concrete evidence being put forward? Yeah, look, we're, we're sitting here saying uh, there's more to come, there's more to come. You know, the, the interesting thing is, is that the gallery was full of Australian members of Parliament on Tuesday, and all they saw was this huge kerfuffle about um, whether she did or she didn't. And at the end of the day, there is no, absolutely no hard evidence out there that there's been some sort of corrupt practice. The only guy to be put away on corrupt practice has been a Labour MP. Labour